questions for Kyle and Damar? Bruce? Uh, for either one of you, how did you like the way you responded when Washington put you guys under pressure in the fourth? Um, <clears throat> we understood they was going to come back, they was going to fight back, and, you know, we, we had to withstand that. You know, um, once they got got it close, we understood we had to buckle down, um, get some stops, and with them stops, try to get out and get easy buckets. You know, um, that's what we did. Eric? Eric Curry in The Athletic. Uh, again, your choice, who speaks. Um, Jonas setting dribble hand, dr uh, screens on dribble handoffs for you has sort of been a, a common part of your offense for the last few years. This year, he's become more of a passer and more of a playmaker for himself. How much more versatile is he in those DHO scenarios? Um, it's great. You know, he's he working on it every day after practice. Um, it's something that, you know, his, you could tell his knowledge of the game is heightened over over the years. And, you know, um, he initiated our offense at a high level now. You know, the things he's able to do, um, handing off the ball, um, Making reads and it's big. It's, it's big when your big man could make plays like that. Mike. Michael Grange from uh, Sportsnet. I, I have two questions. One is for Kyle. Okay. Yeah, and then a right, the question right. for Demar. The first question, Kyle, is what did you think of Demar's performance tonight as a scorer? Yeah. And Demar, after Kyle's excellent answer. When did you know you had to uh, step it up? Hey, man, you, you know how to work a room, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Give him a hand, y'all. Give him a hand. Uh, uh, after my excellent answer, you know, DeMar is an unbelievable player, um, all NBA, um, MVP type caliber player. Um, you know, 14 from 23 is efficient, three for six from the, the three point line, six for eight from the three, uh, but also five rebounds, four assists, and some good defense. Um, you know, I think. You know, he's just grown as a player. And every year I've been with him, he just continues to get better. And uh, I mean, I don't care. He's my friend. I don't care. He still sucks as a friend. But um, as a basketball player, he's pretty, really, he's really good and just getting better every single year. And, um, you know, when I'm not shooting the ball like that, it doesn't matter. I mean, if I'm not, I mean, if I'm not shooting the ball well, the, the guy, he held it down for our team, 37 points. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I just let the game come to me, the floor of the game. Um, I go based off that. You know, these days, it's not like I got to have a mindset to go out there and, you know, I got to score 30, 40 points. Um, I go out there and play just aggressive. Just 37. What you mean? I didn't go out there saying, let me score but, 30 tonight. But like, I'm saying, you had 37. Don't say it like But you. I'm saying, I didn't go out there but saying. But all I'm saying, I, you can't say that when you had 37. Listen, what I'm trying to explain, though, what bro. What I'm saying is, I understand what you said. But you no, you don't. Let me finish. I didn't even. Can I? Leave. Um, like I said, I didn't go out there planning to score 37 points. I went out there to be aggressive, and with my aggressiveness, came out 37 points. You know. Okay. Um, you know, I made a lot of great reads. Um, game one, you know, passing the ball and understanding. Where we could get easy shots, and you know, understood understood game two was going to be different, you know, and we all try to put that mark on on a game and come out more aggressive, you know. That could have led me passing the ball more, but tonight it led to me, you know, scoring the ball, you know. Um, and I'm pretty sure everybody going to have their night, you know. It's just not going to be me every single night, and um, that was that. Joseph. Joseph Pichardo, the score, Demar. A lot of players talk about the game slowing down for them, I guess, as they elevate their game. Is that something that you can speak to as well as you've maybe developed your playmaking in other areas of your game? Yeah, I'm like Neo now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was good. That was good. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's Morpheus. <laughs> Eric. Uh, Eric Smith, Sportsnet, uh, for, for Morpheus then. Uh, how do you take this, Kyle, going to Washington then, knowing that you protected home court, but a series doesn't become a series until somebody wins on the other team's floor? 
I mean, I don't, I don't know where that comes from. I, don't, I mean, honestly, you know, we got the opportunity to go down there and um, take advantage of the, the, the situation that we're in. Um, you know, we know that they're going to come out a lot more, hung, a lot hungrier, a lot more physical um, on their home floor, and they want to protect their home floor. We've done our job on our floor. Now we just got to go out there with the momentum of, you know, shooting the ball well, guys playing well. We, we feed you know, off each other extremely well. Um, our defense got to be a lot better. You know, they shot 48% from the field. 45% from three. Um, we we got to play a lot better defense, and we know we can.